Good evening, my name is Garrett and welcome to The Last Call. Tonight's final drink is a brand to me that was my first stepping stones into sipping rum and that is Bamboo and this is the original uh, which comes in here in the United States as a 35% ABV. Overseas comes in at a 40%. Not sure why they chose to do that here in the States, but they did. Now this is a Caribbean rum uh, with their blend actually coming from Barbados. Now this rum itself is a no age statement. Um, however, if you jump around on some of their sister sites, there is reference to this being a six year old rum and obviously all rums being either sugarcane or molasses based or a few other options out there. This one being sugarcane uh, has been aged in ex bourbon as a lot of rums are as well. Now, just by looking at the bottle, you can tell this is 100% a rum. Um, actually, I had to change out the cork on here because my cork, for some reason, was actually breaking apart. So I don't know if I just got a bad bottle or if that's common with this brand, but it was actually starting to get down into the spirit and I've had to strain it out a few times. So I eventually just ended up changing out the cork. Uh, besides that, though, is the bottle, the shape, the design, the look, all just screams rum. Now we're going to be trying this rum two different ways. First way, neat, no ice, no water. And then the second way, we're going to put just a few drops of water in there to see if anything changes. Uh, Beans that this is already is a 35%. It's been proofed down past the normal 40. Uh, I don't expect too much to change, but kind of getting a little bit different. But personally, I have not tried that yet. This to me is a great example of an introduction to sipping rum and mainly because of the notes and it is just an easy sipper. So right on the nose, beautiful color there, by the way, nice dark color. Uh, but on the nose you get right away is vanilla. The vanilla, it's not just your standard vanilla, it's more of a caramelized vanilla, like a charred vanilla. And you also get banana on the notes too, almost a creaminess to it. Uh, and I, I've let a few people try this and the first thing we all always say is banana fosters. Uh, you take just a, a beautiful, you know, vanilla ice cream and then take your banana and char it up and put a little sugar over it and really get that nice and crispy. And that's this in a glass, it honestly is. The alcohol note is very light, if at all. But yeah, you're just gonna get some beautiful vanilla banana forward. And just that little bit, again, you get that little bit of charness on that. And you can tell it's, it's got just a tad bit of like, um, if you just take a blowtorch and chart up a banana uh, with some sugar on there, things like that. But yeah, let's see what comes across. Yeah, it's banana first on the taste. You get this beautiful, beautiful vanilla there too. Um, and a creaminess, again, all those notes that you can smell. This is one of the few out there that I can say that come across beautifully. Everything you named. Um, you get a little bit of that alcohol bite on there, but not anything that's overpowering or offensive. Uh, but this is just, its it, this is a dessert almost. Um, very sweet. If you're not used to sweetness, it comes across very sweet. Yeah, that banana though. And I'm not a big banana person. I eat maybe one a year. Uh, banana's not my go-to when it comes to any kind of fruit. But uh, that banana just comes across well. Beautiful spices. You get um, like some, a little bit of cinnamon and it, it 100% you close your eyes and you think you're you know, eating some ice cream with banana and a little bit of charness on a banana from a little bit of sugar and you blow torch that 100% this is banana fosters through and through all right time to add some water to it I'm just going to put a few drops in there nothing too crazy that should be plenty See if anything changes. Again, I don't expect too much to change on that uh, because it's already kind of proofed down, but we'll do an AB comparison here. Yeah, I mean, your, your sweetness is pulled back a bit on there. You really don't get quite as much sweet on the nose.
The banana is still there, but not quite as forward. Everything is kind of dialed back for the most part on, this, on the nose. Yeah, everything just dialed back. Let's go for taste. The banana still shows up. The vanilla, in my opinion, it, it kind of goes away. It does cut back on that little bit of tinge of the alcohol. But you lose a lot of your flavored profiles on that. It's still there, but it would be, it's, it's definitely, you can tell it's been watered down. Uh, definitely, I feel like this one is an easy drinker. Should be able to put it with um, maybe just a little bit of water if you're new to sipping rums or just spirits in general. But honestly, it's a great, great one, neat. It's got some beautiful flavors coming across there. And it's overall, comparatively on market price, you know, we all know market prices vary. Most of the time I can find this for as low as $23 and usually in my area about the $28 to $30. And I don't think it's a bad price for this, especially if you're new to uh, rums, you're not really sure. The one big thing I would recommend is make sure you understand that this is gonna be different than a lot of other sippers. Um, it's very sweet, it's banana, it's vanilla. Uh, it, it's very much definitely one of those ones that I would recommend to new people, but you, it may not rock your world if you're used to kind of sipping on stuff like this. And there you have it, Bamboo, the original rum. Great introduction to sipping rum, in my opinion. If you have any questions about it or like to see some specific reviews over specific spirits, drop them in the comment section below. And as always, may your last drink of the night be the best one.